Good morning again, Daryl here, um, doing my regular Tuesday session and um, today I will be testing out the Socony uh, Endorphin Speed. So um, kind of you know the drill, uh, I did it a couple of weeks ago with the uh, Tempo Next Percent. I'm going to give them a try, see how they perform and I will give you an update when I get back. So um, yeah, there's nothing else to say but uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit and I'll crack on. And you'll hear, you'll hear my thoughts. The Saucony Endorphin Speed is for athletes looking for a performance advantage on every run. It makes running fast feel easier by proving that a cushioned shoe can deliver speed and a natural feel at the same time. It's priced at 155 pounds, weighs 221 grams for men, 198 grams for women, and has an eight mil drop. Uh, hello again, uh, so I'm back from my session. Uh, and as I mentioned before I started, I was going to be using the uh, the Saucony Endorphin Speed. So this is a, again that sits in the same category as um, what the Nike Tempo Next Percent does, um, Hocker Carbon X, the new Rocket X. Now um, that kind of quick uh, carbon plated, or in this case, it's got a nylon plate um, training shoe, which is super fast uh, and super responsive. So yeah, to summary. Uh, to summary, to summarise, uh, this shoe is, um, in my opinion, a better shoe than the Tempo Next Percent is. It uh, comes in slightly lighter, so this is 221 grams, and actually you can notice it does feel lighter as well. Um, midsole, they use what they call an ultralight P-Bax, um, like power foam midsole, so it's very uh, reminiscent of the uh, the old style uh, Adidas Ultra Boost. Um, it's obviously there's a bigger stack on it because that's the aim of these shoes is to certainly give you way more cushioning, reduce fatigue on the muscles, um, kind of propel you forward a little bit more, really get you um, kind of on your toes moving quicker. Um, and that's definitely what it felt like. Um, one reservation probably is I couldn't quite get the fit a hundred percent right. I think I'm basically I've been loaned this shoe by a good friend of mine, Liam Williams. He's only just started using them, so it's not like they've actually been broken in. It was for, for me to kind of give them a spin and actually give them a, um, a test to, to determine what they really felt like. So, um, yeah, maybe because he's just had his foot in it a couple of times, it might be a little bit different, in, certainly in terms of his shape to mine. Um, so I must admit, uh, when I was kind of warming up, I stopped, one, to have a quick pit stop, uh, but two, just to kind of change the... The lacing system slightly just so I could get a, a slightly snugger fit and actually felt like the shoe was on my foot a little bit better um, which I think I kind of did it does feel a tad kind of roomy in the toe box not so much the length of the shoe I think the, the, the length here is perfect um, you know I normally a size 10 in most training shoes and a size 10 in this shoe here is perfectly fine some of my other shoes certainly all my um, other carbon plated shoes that I run in they're all a ten and a half but again different brands come up in a different size so yeah I didn't notice anything running I think I you know if you were actually using this shoe as a racing shoe I'd probably want to get it a little bit snugger because you're trying to leave everything out there but certainly from a training perspective this is this is perfectly fine so um, yeah good good shoe um, definitely recommend it um, comes in at 155 pounds so it's a reasonable price actually um, slightly cheaper than your Carbon X, slightly cheaper than your, your Tempo Next Percent. So uh, yeah, if you're on a little bit of a budget and you want that kind of shoe, then um, uh, this is something that I would definitely throw in and recommend. Um, and you don't really feel the plate at all. As I said before, there's a nylon plate in here. Um, it does give you the response. You can feel it propelling you forward, but you can't feel it. And it's quite, quite silent really in a way. So um, I was fortunate in the first, uh, so the first eight minutes of my, my session, I ended up um, kind of bumping into uh, uh, a friend of mine, um, another friend of mine, Nick, Nick Bates, who's, uh, who's coaching a young lad who uh, uh, was actually on a 5K time trial. Um, and uh, the route that I use is kind of perfect for that. You know, they were just going out and back. So I actually sat alongside him. Hopefully I helped him out a little bit for that first half of his, uh, his session or his, his, his um, uh, time trial, shall I say. Um, but yeah, so... Hopefully that helped him out slightly, um, and yeah, you couldn't. Uh, he was wearing the um, the next percent. Uh, you can hear it a little bit, as I said the other time. It's quite quiet compared to um, 
the tempo next percent but uh, you could hear his shoe a little bit and um, yeah de definitely couldn't hear this as much even when I finished um, and carried on beyond him I couldn't hear the plate so yeah it gives you that return it gets you up on your toes without really noticing it too much so um, no all around pretty pleased with that great shoe um, would I buy it I definitely would um, I'm becoming a little bit a fan of some of these shoes so um, yeah for what I did today quicker runs fartlet sessions um, even kind of something that you potentially want to get out and do um, you know an interval session in because you don't want something too light great shoe for that so yeah would highly recommend it um, in my case would probably have to try and get the, the fit just a tad better but um, no good shoe and um, yeah definitely worth the money in my opinion so um, check it out if you get a chance to um, you know try it whether it's a, uh, a you know something like this or, or just if you ever when stores get open again and um you know some of them do these uh demo days with their um their brands give it a whirl i, I, I recommend it so um yeah and if you want to see the performance check out my um my strava and um you'll see uh, kind of my splits during the time i was running quicker and um yeah check out our um our youtube channel make sure you subscribe by hitting that bell icon and you'll get notified as soon as um new videos get posted but um yeah enjoy your day and i hope to see you all soon cheers